Hey guys, what's up? This is Code Builders, and in today's short lesson, I'm going to show you that how can you open a PDF file inside your form using C Sharp. So let's get started and let's see what we can do to open a PDF file right here in our uh, form. So first of all, we need to go to toolbox that we don't have right now. So I will go to view and inside this view, I'll find a toolbox somewhere. And there it is toolbox. And now uh, we don't have that thing that we want for a PDF to open a PDF file. Uh, we don't have in toolbox. So what we will do we will just import that from our computer system because uh, my computer system has Adobe Reader for PDF and uh, I would recommend you to install Adobe Reader first then you will try this if you don't have Adobe Reader in your system then uh, this whole lesson has no question so let's get started and uh, in here from toolbox uh, just click or uh, right click anywhere and inside here you need to click this choose items okay so when you click choose items you will see something like this a window like this so in here you need to click uh, yes this com components so you will click this com components and you will see a list of your uh, components in your system so you just need to select this adobe pdf reader just check this and when you check this make sure that you click this ok button okay so when you will press ok this kind of icon with your cursor will appear that means wherever you want to place it just place it so I will click to come to toolbox and then click here so in toolbox if you come below you will see that in the end somewhere you will find this Adobe PDF reader is basically Adobe PDF reader and uh, now you just need to drag it out here and it will be something like this so you just need to drop it here and and just resize it according to your need okay and uh, right here so you can also uh, do that from here from there's will be something um, anchor yes anchor you can also fill it up so if you fill if you fill it up uh, it will make sure that uh, it has a safe distance from the corners and it doesn't look bad so the next thing that you need to do you just need to drag a button here uh, in order to make a pdf file open if you remember that in my 22nd video i have told you about uploading or opening a file concept in that concept i have used open file dialog so same thing i'm gonna do here i will use the same concept of open file so make sure that you have watched my 22nd video tutorial before that video okay so now I will double click on that button and uh, this event for that button will be created but uh, let me change the name of my button and just select this okay like this click on that and it will be selected and then you need to come here and change the text of your button as open PDF file okay so just make it a bit bigger so that the whole text can appear and now the event of the button has already been created so I need to connect this to my button 
so for that purpose I'll click on the button and inside here I will write some simple code and if you are familiar with open file dialog this thing uh, and now I need to create a variable like I will name it as VAR and uh, new because C sharp uh, works with object so I have to do that now you can see a variable has been created okay and now on the basis of this variable I have to identify whether a file uh, whether user has pressed the button to get the file or not I mean if user has selected the file or not if the user will select the file then it has to copy its source and open it otherwise if user is not selecting any file then it has nothing to do with that file okay or with any other file you can say so I'll mark a condition here as uh, if VAR that variable of open file dialog VAR dot show dialog what it will do it will show the dialog box uh, from where you can select any file and then it needs to make sure that if any file is selected or not so for that purpose what I will do I will write here system dot windows dot forms dot dialog reserve dot okay yes so you can see I need to write it like this now I'll put curly brackets on so let me keep here a distance so that easy for you to see okay so now you can see that I have written a condition like that if variable dot show dialog that means that if user press the open file dialog and if the dialog appears in front of him then it need to make sure that user must select a file if user don't select a file do not go into that code what I am writing inside if so user has to select to get that code executed okay so inside here I will write I will select here and I will see what is the name of uh, this x acro pdf1 but uh, let's say I just change it to pdf reader okay that is my variable name and this is my pdf reader and now I'll go to the code and I will paste the name of that variable of that Adobe PDF reader okay and now I will write here the source of the file dot source is equal to var dot file name so what this thing is gonna do this file name is uh, gonna give this the path of the file that will be selected okay so I hope you have understood uh, because of this variable because this open file dialog variable is using everywhere I am using it everywhere just because of the cause that it has to select that file and then to open that file exactly so the file that will be selected will be uh, its path will be copied also in variable so I just have to extract it using a method and that I have did that I have done using file name so that file name is basically the path of the file and path of the selected file will simply be copied to here and it will be opened then okay so it will open the file right now so just go to form and let's run our program and let's see if our program works or not okay so I will start my program and it will take a while because I have started my visual studio after a long time 
long long time <laughs> so it will start mm, it is building it is building so I have to wait until it builds so this kind of window appears and if you are following my video you know my credentials and when you will press login it will tell you login successful in a while because uh, these values have been stored in my database and uh, if you still haven't seen my previous videos then i will recommend you to watch my previous videos okay from the tutorial one because i am consistently making videos okay so this kind of thing will appear that is basically that adobe thing that i have dragged out here so now i'll click the button open pdf file and it will open up a dialog right here so i'll go to the desktop and i have a pdf file there mm, oops okay so i will go to the pdf file and here it is this is a pdf file a book so i'm going to open it and when i will hit open uh, you will see that it has started to open that inside this form and you can see the file has opened this pdf file has opened so same like that you can uh, make it a bit larger if you want as per your requirement so i hope you have learned something new in this video and please rate comment subscribe and bye for now.